Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, and working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video, including this one, I think. I don't think he is subscriber anyway. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you, just like this one again. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide, now I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another request for uh, not subscriber, but anyway, <laughs> in this video, I will show you how to show or display the orders on sales counter on your Shopify product page completely free and by using your own custom code and it works on every Shopify team. No matter if it's paid one or custom made one, it works on all of them. And not just one, I will share with you two uh, sales counter. The first one will be static that you can add your own number of sales to it that you want to display to customers. I know some people do, but anyway, the second one, I will show you a dynamic one that will keep adding up. So each minute will add a new sale and it uses the browser uh, storage session. So even the user reload the page, it will show them the same one that was added the last minute. And yes, you heard that right. The sales counter will add the sale each minute. And even if I reload the page, it will keep the same number or the same rhythm. And this is a very clever way. And again, both of the codes are completely free. The only thing I will be asking you is please hit that like button because it, it takes time and effort to build this stuff. And I'm almost blind. I need to wear glasses outside now. So looking at the code is really painful. I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. That will motivate me to share more free things with you guys because there is a lot of people that will copy the code, make their own videos using my code that I spent time building. So by you hitting that like button and dropping a comment below, it will motivate me to share more free things with you guys and make them happy too so they can copy more stuff from me. But again, I'll let you decide. Without any more talking, let's just get to it and show you how to add the sales counter on your Shopify store, both static and dynamic. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video adds small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. For example, check out this scroll logos as you can see with the fade at the corners, looks very professional. Once I hover over it, it stops and you can enable or disable this option. Or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store. Come on, show up. Come on, here is recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. You can pick to who to show up to first time visitors or turning visitors, or you wanna see something that will make you more money, check this out. As you can see, I have six products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. I will act just like I wanna leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And it will only show up once the user trying to leave. And I got amazing feedback on this one, actually. It helped many, many people. And I'm really happy about that. But I know, yeah, sales counter, that's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video, but not on this team. Because if I scroll down, check out how many things I added on this team. It's so many stuff, like it's full of things. Uh, even the product page, if I access this one, check out how many things in here. So many widgets, as you can see. Even the wish list system, as you can see, with the icon on the header, I did that in tutorials completely free. So let me close this one and we'll do demonstration on the new team, which is Horizon, this one right here. So let me open up in a new tab and access the product page, do the trick, come back and see it in action. And as I said, this uh, code will work on every Shopify team, no matter if it's paid or free ones, it works on all of them. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on all ISO, then click on teams, then click on the three dots or left of customize, or actually, no, click on customize, <laughs> click on customize button. In my case, I'm gonna do it in here because I'm using Horizon for demonstration. And you might be thinking, it's already available on team editor. No, it's not, it's custom code, no worries. So the next thing we're going to do, we need to switch the product page and simply click on home page at the top of the page so you can switch to product page, click on home, 
Click on home page at the top of the page so you can switch to product page. Then click on product and select the default template for the product page. And this one has so much information. Just for the clarity, let me actually switch to cleaner product. This will show up across all your products. If you want to add a condition to only show it on specific products that you want, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out. It's very easy, not too complicated. So in here, the, the on the product information, simply click on it to be expanded. Then the next thing we're going to do is pick where you want to show it. Below the variant picker, below the buy it now button, below the policy description. In my case, I want it below the buy button, this one right here. It looks very good that way. I'm gonna add it in there. This is personal preference. You pick where you wanna add it. So simply hover below the thing where you wanna add it, which show out block, click on it and search for custom. It will show you custom liquid. And this is the, exactly the option we need. So simply click on it and it will show you a prompt on the right of the screen this time where you can paste in some custom code. And where are you gonna get that custom code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code, then get back to him. I'm just joking. Scroll that description box and you will see a link. My website completely free again. As I said, completely free. I would just appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. That will motivate me to share more free things with you guys. So download a zip file from my website. Inside it, you will find another dot .liquid file Open it with any text editor on your computer. Actually, you will find two files, not just one. So two files. The first one would say static sales counter. The second one would say dynamic sales counter. And based on names, I think you can guess what they are basically. So the first one static, which shows a, a number doesn't change. And you can pick the number that you can change actually on the code. And the second one will say dynamic. I can assume that you are interested in dynamic one, which adds the sales over time. So copy the whole code inside it, open it with any text editor, copy the whole code inside it. Then after that, simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? All my tutorials include like that. Just copy and save, copy and save. You can do this just like a five years old. Anyway, now as you can see, if you guys know or subscriber actually know, I don't share things that will just do the job. I share things that will make your Shopify stand out. As you can see, it doesn't only show the number of counter, it actually shows a fire emoji. So it's very good, attracts attention as well, and it's interactive. Let me show you that. So by default, it will start by 47. And you can adjust the number as well, where the number starts. It's already 48, past one minute now, as you can see. So let me get back in here, reload the page. And here is, it will start and interactive as you can see, it shows like a glow effect. So I don't have a timer here. Let me pull up a timer in a traditional way. Yeah, have you ever seen a timer like this in a terminal? So here is a timer. It will start now after one minute. We'll see if we will add actually uh, one sold or no. And no, you don't have to wait one minute. I'll cut right through. And here is after 30 seconds because there was a delay between when I first hit save then we first access the page, then pull up the timer. It added one sold after 30 seconds. I guess after one minute now, it will add another one, which will be 49 sold. Let's just see that. Come on, 49 sold, please. Here it is, as you can see, it added one. So each minute it will add one. And even if I reload the page, it will show 49 where it should be. And this is very cool and clever trick as you saw right now, and it looks cool too. And that's how you add the sales counter in a very different and clever and unique way. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.